Hi friends, so a very quick update, we just improved the listing image generator and we added 50 new backgrounds as well as new shadows. So the backgrounds and the shadows are new. And what's new as well is the paper texture. So when I zoom in here, you will see that now the paper can have a texture, which will make the listing image appear much more realistic. So I can give you a comparison. This is how the image listings usually look like. And this is how the image listing now can look like if you apply a paper texture as well as a shadow on top and then maybe also change the background. So let me quickly show you the backgrounds and the shadows we just added. So here are just a few. We added in total 50 shadows and 50 backgrounds and you can also mix and match them. Let me quickly go back. Once you saved your planner in your collection, you will see a button called make listing picture. So when you click on this button, um, the listing generator will show up and it will look like this. Um, up here you can type in a new name. You can also further adjust the corner radius of the page. So let me quickly zoom in here. So you see that um, this setting here or this slider will adjust the corners. And then next, as mentioned, we added new backgrounds. So now you can choose between 63 backgrounds and I can show you a few of my favorites. For example, um, 32 is a pretty one, which is this um, neutral background here. And then there also is 46 is a nice marble one. So if you like marbles, maybe 46 is something for you. And then there also is 29. 29 is another pretty one and then there are many many more backgrounds you can try next let's check out the shadows so under shadow overlay you can now choose um, between all the shadows and this menu here is new so we just added this menu today and you see that you can choose from many many different kinds of shadows but if you don't want to have a shadow applied to your template you can select back number one and then click on previous and this will remove the shadows for you. Now last, uh, let's check out the paper texture. So this one's a new menu as well. And you see that in total there are eight different kinds of uh, paper textures and the changes are very subtle so you might not even see it. But a few um, textures are darker than others. So you see that when I zoom in, there is a subtle texture on top of the paper. And this is what's making um, the templates look more realistic and paper-like. But if you don't want to have a texture applied, then just set it to none. And here we go. So let me quickly compare again. This is what the listing images usually look like. And this is what they can look like now. So I just quickly wanted to show you the newest updates. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!